Hello, it's Alex. I'm back with another Mamba Year video. It is week 12 and I'm very excited. Uh, I tried to find a better background, but all I got is stairs. So that's what we got today, but that's okay. Um, so like I said, week 12, that means that we are officially three months into the Mamba Year, which is like pretty crazy because that's already like one fourth of the way. So scary stuff, time flies. But that's the whole point of this whole mama year is to just take every single day and to make the absolute most out of it. So um, it's been really, really fun. It's been really um, successful in a lot of ways, very challenging in a lot of ways. Um, lots of growth has happened in the last 12 weeks. Um, and um, yeah, so it's been good. Um, I'll probably have to do some more reflecting um, on it later. But I am here today to talk about the quote of the week, which I'm so super, super excited about. So the quote of the week is super simple. It's three words. It's, I'm chasing perfection. And this quote came at such a good time. Um, I think so last week obviously was Thanksgiving. There was a lot of stuff going on. Um, we had new COVID restrictions and like everything was just kind of weird and it was just a weird week. And I kind of got a little bit twisted up. I was kind of out of routine and I was like, ah, everything was just kind of weird. So like I missed a couple um, of my like recovery things. Like I just like didn't have like a knockout strong week that um, I like to have. So I was like, wow, this is like the perfect quote to help propel me into a new week and to help kind of get things back on track, if you will, not that things were really off track, but just to kind of have like a fresh new um, feeling, I guess, going into the new week and just kind of like, just like a, like a re, like a re, like a boost, like a boost button, <laughs> like, I don't know, whatever. Um, so it was kind of just like a boost. Um, to kind of get get things back and and I was like, okay, so I want to just hit an absolutely perfect week I want to set all my intentions and I want to hit every single intention every single day And those intentions are things that are completely in my control. So obviously it's not like um, You know if the weather is um, Cold outside or if there's snow on the ground or whatever like if I can't do something like like just doing it how I Can do it but staying true to like the, well, why can I think? Um, I don't know, just, just within the things that I can control, just doing every single thing that I set out to do that week, this week. Um, so, so far so good, it's Wednesday, we are doing really good. Um, some of the things that I was struggling with was just getting in my recovery sessions. Um, there was just like some like random things here and there that I just like wasn't being consistent with that I wanted to get back into being consistent with. So this was super good. Um, it kind of gave me a good um, new restart. So anyway, I wanted to talk more about the quote and some things that I'm kind of pulling out of it this week, aside from that, obviously that big one, um, just to kind of help give me that energy um, to get things kind of like cranking again, you know? Um, because after three months, obviously, it's like, um, you know, like the fun and the newness and like all that, like motivation is like, it all like wears off. And of course, like motivation comes and goes. And that's not a bad thing. That's just like the nature of the beast. Um, but it's definitely been like a fun way to kind of like zap, zap the energy back into it. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Anyway, I said I was going to talk about the quote. Um, so. I think I've been thinking about this a lot lately and I've been thinking about just like the challenge of okay there's a couple things so one I think I've been thinking a lot about how it's really important to like understand where you are at with yourself I have to put my hand on the wall because I'm getting tired my arm is getting tired this is a long video I'll try to get Ram's desk out of it so it's not messy um I think it's really important to know where you are at with yourself and your own journey path, mental health, physical health, everything to figure out like where you need to go and how you need to take, take yourself and like how far you can push yourself and what ways you can push yourself. Um, 
I think that's really important because I think there's a lot of things, um, like if I say something like super generically, um, obviously it, every single person is unique and things can be taken so many different ways and not everything is the same for every single person. And you know, you could say like, oh, like you need to be hard on yourself or whatever. And like, that's not exactly what, you know, person A needs to hear, but like, that's what person B needs to hear. So uh, I've been thinking a lot about that. Um, I'm not sure exactly how that, oh yeah. So it's really important to understand where you are with yourself. So you know how far you can push yourself. So um, in the essence of perfection, um, I think one, I think it's um, naive to think that perfection is something that can be achieved. Um, because if you think that you are at that point, I think that you don't know enough. Um, but also like not thinking that like perfect is something that like you can never achieve um, because those are like two ends of the spectrum that I think aren't productive. So I think it's really important to understand and know that perfection is something that does not exist and will never be reached, but it is something that you should still strive for. And it's something that you should still work towards every single day. So knowing that you are never going to get that perfect you know, you know, it's never going to be like that, but trying as absolutely hard as you can. I said absolutely, like in a really weird accent. <laughs> trying absolutely as hard as you can to get there. Um, and like that, that's the difference is like knowing that you're, that perfect doesn't exist, but chasing it anyway. And just like blindly thinking that like you will be perfect. Um, because I think that is not the case either. And then just like not thinking that being getting to perfect doesn't exist so then like why bother um I think there's like a good mix in between that so um I think kind of going back to what I said earlier it's really important to understand where you are at with yourself to understand how far you can push yourself um I am not here to tell you that you need to like do a b c d e f g in order to be successful I'm here to uh tell myself what I want to do and what I need to do to push myself to perfection. And that's different for me, that's different for you. Like um, even that's different for me six months ago, a year ago, a year ago, perfect for me was, for example, with like fitness or whatever, like just, you know, getting my three workouts in for the week, um, you know, and making sure I was taking the time to take care um, and rest and, and recover and recuperate um, because I just, was so out of shape and like whatever but now I'm at the point where I'm like I need to push myself six days a week seven days a week hard um harder th it's all relative and that's the thing is that it is all so relative and that's why it's it's becoming difficult to kind of um not that it's difficult to like put it put stuff out there but like just to like explain and like because I'm at this point where like the relative effort for me like pushing myself hard this week is pushing myself to eight, you know, six, seven, eight workouts a week. Whereas me eight months ago or someone watching this video, that's not the case for you. And like, that's totally okay. Um, and, and that's just understanding where you're at and what you need to do to push yourself. So I think it's a balance between like knowing what you are capable of and also pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone. So setting those goals, setting those objectives, um, I mean, I do it all the time and, and, and that's where, that's where the failure comes in. So it's like you chase the perfection, you know, it doesn't exist. You're chasing it anyway. And then you're going to have a little bit of failure in there. And like that little bit of failure is like where you get better. And then like you are able to push yourself more and push yourself more. So it's this very interesting concept that I have been thinking about this week and it's, it's been fun. It's been, it's been brain, uh, crunching is that is that there I don't even know um it's been crunching my brain a lot um but yeah it's all relative um perfection and and perfection just with that like that's the thing is that, like I'm saying like I I my goal this week was to have a perfect week well what does that mean like it's not like I can make every single thing in the world go right this week it's like, no, like I'm going to set out these very specific things and I'm going to do every single thing 
on those because all those are things that are in my control. And I think that's a really good way to push yourself and to stay positive and optimistic about it, I guess, because if you're, you're trying to have these objectives that are relying on like external factors, um, it's a little bit more difficult. And then, you know, you're relying on other people, other things or the weather or whatever. And it's like, you can't control these things. So you're, you know, kind of placing your happiness or whatever, your expectations and external things. And I think that is not, not necessarily the best way to go about it, in my opinion. Um, like I said, it's my opinion. That's why we're on my and Bree's YouTube channel. <laughs> if anyone made it this far, love ya. Thanks for sticking around for my 10 minute rant. Um, this is a longer video than usual, but I think that I don't think I rambled a lot. I think I kind of made my points somewhat. I had a lot of points. I think that's why it's longer. I feel like I didn't run in circles that much. Um, if you got this far and you feel like I did, sorry, <laughs> let me know. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. I am who I am. That's it for week 12 of the Mombi year. Thanks for sticking around, watching if you did. I don't know, whatever. Um, that's it. We'll see you next week.